It's estimated that phobias affect 10 million people living in the UK. That's one in six, regardless of age, sex and social background. Well, schema conditioning psychotherapist Nick and Eva Speakman are here today and they're hoping to help one viewer overcome her phobia. My name is Faye Monk. I'm 22 years old and I suffer from globophobia, which is a fear of balloons. My phobia started when I was about seven years old. Went to a wedding with my family. We got given like little party bags with balloons inside. I started blowing up the balloon and the balloon burst in my face. And ever since then I've been petrified of them. If I want to go shopping or anything, if there's a sale on and there's obviously balloons advertised outside, um, I will not go in at all because just the fear of it, the thought of it. The reason that I want to be cured is because I've had this fear for a long time now and obviously being 36 weeks pregnant, I don't want to pass my fear on to my daughter. It affects so much of my life and... So you can see it's very painful there for Faye and that's how she is at home. She's here in the studio feeling quite <laughs> emotional, I'm not surprised. We're going to be chatting to her in just a moment but first here's what happened just over an hour ago when Nick and Eva tried to assess the extent of her phobia. Hi Faye. Hello. So I believe you've got globophobia or in simple terms the fear of balloons. Yep. So what I'd like to do, what we'd like to do, is find out how bad this is. Yep. We don't want to torture you, we don't want to push you too far, but if you could let us know on a scale of 0 to 10, exactly how you feel when we show you some balloons. Yeah, is that OK? So, okay. Yeah. so if we were going to show you a balloon now, where do you reckon that your fear would be out of 10? Um, it depends, obviously, how... Obviously, if it's all, like, blown up or anything like that. Um, if it's going to be a full-blown one up, I won't like it. So well, let's let start, ten. then. So we've got here some deflated balloons. How do you feel about that? Um, not too bad, because okay, so I know they're not blown up, out of so they can't pop. Out um, of ten? I'd say probably a one. A one, okay. okay. And what about if I were to pick one up, how do you feel about that? Um, feel a bit nervous. Okay. Out of ten? Probably still maybe a one and a half, okay. maybe. Would you be able to hold that for me? Yeah. Okay. And does that make any difference? No. Not Because at all. I know that I can't blow this okay. up. Okay. Okay, so what if I were to take a balloon and inflate it slightly? I'm going to do that, mm -hmm. and I want you to speak to Nick and tell him how you're feeling. Yeah. Um, and what scale you're fear. And if you need me to stop, just yeah. tell me to stop, OK? Yeah. So if you remember the scale... I'd say ten. that's probably a two. No, I feel a bit uncomfortable now. This, out that's ten. a probably now a four. Could you touch that? Ten. No. So I can't touch, touch that, it. no. And what are you feeling? Nervous, anxious and... Scared that your nails are going to catch it. And, and what if I... It. Yeah, no, I don't like that. sound you don't like? No. So I'm going to blow it a little bit more, but tell me if you need me to stop. OK, no, stop. 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 Yeah. Well, that oh, was just 60 minutes ago, um, and that obviously was disturbing to yeah, you. Yeah, it was. And how have you unpicked this? Well, basically, there's always a start to any phobia. There's always an event that happens and Faye told us that when she was seven years of age, she was blowing a balloon up and it popped in her face. So in that moment, what's, what does she blame? It didn't feel nice, what does she blame? She blamed the balloon, because essentially what we've educated her with is she should have blamed herself because she blew too much air in it. But that's only because she was seven, so up until today, Faye's seen balloons through the eyes of a seven-year-old, because as far as she's concerned, you touch or blow a balloon and it's going to bang in your face. Well, the one thing you didn't want to do was to pass that on. You're 36 weeks pregnant, so yeah. we're, we're being quite careful in what we do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one, of big, one of the big things is popping, but we have no intention of popping a balloon because... Uh, because we uh, don't want you to go to labour quite we're not, yes. we're, not, we're not fully qualified for that. Um, what we can do is just go back to where you were before. Tell me to yeah. stop at any stage, uh, although I know what, what you guys do. You know this is unlikely to... Uh, how do you feel now? Yeah, we're fine. How do you feel now? Fine. Still fine. Can yeah. you hold it? Yeah. Wow. So this really is a big difference, isn't it? Yeah. Could oh. you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. so, so there you go. So, so what have you done? You've, it literally is just turning off that switch in your head. It is. That... It's, it's, it's where you apportion the blame, basically. And she apportioned the blame as a seven-year-old girl 
to the balloon and then yeah. so she, she became frightened of it but we said you know was it the balloon's fault whose fault is it and but realistically globophobia is a little tougher because we are only born with two fears and one of those happens to be loud noises mm. and ah. therefore that's a secondary reaction well everyone jumps when a balloon exactly, pops. Of course. exactly but and you're absolutely right about that but because um, the fear then attached the fear of the balloon banging in her face she's been completely petrified well well done you because when you have your little girl there's going to be lots of children's parties lots of exactly. balloons and this will make a big difference now because yeah. you'll be able to go and not be fearful yeah exactly we've got a present yeah, for you actually i don't know where uh, oh. where that thank you very much i'll just get oh <laughs> look at that there you go <laughs> happy with those <laughs> 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 oh, well done well, well done, done. good luck with <laughs> the baby you. as well thank good luck you. With